Well, are we ready to tackle another project? I am. I've been waiting on this one, actually. So let's get started on it right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ralph the Oliver Man, and this here is a Harley Davidson golf cart. And I got it in at an online auction where I also bought that Cushman truckster thing. And we did kind of an overview on it when I brought it home, and I haven't really done much more other than I did look it up and find out that it's not a, a 79, I think it's an or well, I don't remember what I said. It's not a 1970, it's a 1980, I think is what I said. And that is because wherever the magical uh, tag is here, J-O, I think the code was for 1980. So that's what that is. Now, as we look at it, it's fairly complete. And the fiberglass body actually is in very good shape, despite the tremendous amount of paint that people have slathered on it over the years. That's gonna take a long time to undo that. But everything else looks to be about right. The interesting thing about these engines is they run in either direction. So when you go forward, it runs one way, and when you go backwards, it runs the other way. And that's how she works. However, when I brought this home, I am afraid that it is actually stuck and it is not turning. And I don't really know of a good way to grab a hold of anything on it to try to turn it because, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? I don't want to break anything. And there just ain't no place, friends, no place to try to do that. So what I think we're gonna end up doing right away is pulling the head off of it and trying to get her to go. Cause I don't know, I mean, unless for some reason, and that's not it. I was gonna say, unless the rear end was stuck or something, you know, that would be the only thing I could think of that might be causing our issue, but it's not, it's loose enough on there Matter of fact, it's way loose on there. I don't know what, if that's because it's got wore out engine mounts or, I don't know. We know nothing about this, but we will learn. It's got one of those brig style or whatever style, Kohler. Small engine vacuum transfer pump things is what I'm trying to say. So that's probably gonna be another ball of sadness when we get that far, but we gotta try to get her to turn over first before we can do anything. There's several people on the internet who have these things and have a few videos about them. But other than that, I just, there's just not a lot that I have found. Of course, I haven't really taken much time to look it up, but I'm hoping that there's somewhat parts availability for these is what I'm trying to get at. Cause we may be needing some stuff. So, it appears there's no use fighting. I mean, we might as well just dive into her, is what I'm saying. So, I'm hoping that this goes somewhat smoothly. It's got 3 8 head bolts. That's interesting. I guess not so much for a small engine, but... I'm scared of what we will find in here. Oh, good grief. Is it really torqued that tight? Or is it that... Uh, that much rust on it? I mean, it has a new spark plug, and it looks to me like somebody has run it in the last few years. It just... I'm hoping it just got stuck from sitting, in which case it won't take much other than a cleanup, and that would be dandy, because like I said, if we get this one going real good, I think this is going to be my little show right around her. But 
so far, I don't know, we're not there yet is what I'm saying. Oh, spiders, I love you, not so much. Oh, jeez. God, oh, nice. I hope I can get it off of here this way. Unless I need to take that. I bet I do need to take this shield more loose here. There is kind of a screw thing down below here. I think that's going to be important. I think it is. So what do we need for that? Well, a Phillips screwdriver at least. And maybe... Either a 7 16 or a 3 8 wrench. Yeah, all right. Let's see here. Is it 3 8 It is. It might actually come loose easily. Famous last words. Oh, it is neither my cold. It's ridiculous. That's loose. It ought to come out of there, shouldn't it? It's almost at the top. Is that good or is that bad? Well, that one way. It's kind of good, I guess, because a guy could potentially, uh, like, smack on it with a block of wood and a hammer. I really don't know what we want to do here. All I know is she ain't going. And I don't know where to grab a hold of that won't destroy something. I don't really want to grab a hold of this clutch in any way that's going to ruin that. Uh-huh. I don't really know what's under here. I wonder if I took that loose, if there would be like a nut under there. That I have a feeling that is our firing apparatus that tells it when to fire. So maybe we don't need to mess with that. Boy. How bad do we think it's really going to be? Maybe I will get a block of wood and try tapping on it somewhat aggressively and see what befalls me. I know what the answer is. The answer is sadness, but we're going to try it anyway. Because what else does a guy do? I mean, I don't think it's top dead center. I might be wrong on that. If it's top dead center, we're not going to accomplish anything. But I would think that the way it is domed and the way that this is domed, that it comes up pretty well to the top. But maybe I'm wrong on that. You know? Wouldn't it be nice to just tighten the old belt up somehow and use the rear end to jar it? I don't think I can do that. I don't think there's any way to, to use this as a lever. It's just too slippery. We could potentially try that uh, alternate or generator bolt and hold the belt tight, taut, but I don't know if we'll be able to see if I go that way it'll be loose so we want to go this way. No, I had it right the first time. Now, we're going to just twist off the old thing, I'm afraid, if we do that. Do you like how you haven't been seeing anything I've been doing because my arm's been in the way? Boy, I wish I could 
Ooh, I might be able to. This pulley has a flat spot on it. If I put a crescent wrench on that and hold the belt tight, then I'm not at any risk of twisting off that shaft. I think we're gonna try that first. Aw, oh, darn. Let's see. Oh no, that's what I want. I'm just not. Okay. Come on. Give it up. Man, that is stuck. Oh, geez. We ain't got no movement of no kind. So, our choices are wood block and smack, or put the head back on and just start soaking it for months and see what happens. I'm also not sure, now that's a question I should be able to answer, but I can't. Does this whole jug come off now that I took those bolts out? I don't think it does, but what do I know? I mean, it does. It does come off of there. So what I'm afraid is going to happen here in a little bit is it's going to pop the whole jug loose instead of actually uh, you know what I'm saying does it make sense what I'm saying not really but I'm betting I'm gonna end up with this whole jug instead of the before the piston moves in the jug I'm gonna end up with the jug off here laying in my face or hammering up and down Well, let's uh, get a wood block. I don't know that I got the right stuff to do this, but did we move any? There's almost like an optical illusion. I think I moved it a little, but I think that's fake. I don't know. And there, of course, we ruined our wood block. Did we move it at all? If we did, it was a fraction. I think we did move it. I think we did move it. We did. We did. We did move it. <laughs> okay. I was hoping that that was all it was. It was a little bit of surface rust like. And that may be a little bit of back and forth now. So we want to go down because up is sadness. I mean, come on. Okay, we're getting it. There. We, I think we're going to get her friends. Oh, yeah. Man. Okay. 
I don't want to destroy anything. So I'm tempted to stop there. Although I say that and then I'm going to keep going. But I would like to... Oh, is that it? It is it. That's a very short stroke. Eee. Okay, we're going to stop there. That's all the way down. So that ain't very much stroke at all. It is uh, just enough to open over those ports and stuff, you see. So it can do its sucking and not sucking. As it is that type of motor, you see. So we need to now... I guess that... Let me think about that for a minute. That would mean that this is a... Does that mean that this is a oil and gas mix kind of job? I think it does. So we're going to have to be very careful about what we do here before I start. We're going to have to make sure, you know, before we try to start it, that I get the idea right, you know? That I, Yeah, we need to learn about this some more. But I'm going to clean this cylinder wall up a little bit and see if we can oil her up good and get it to go around and around and around. And I might just get myself the uh, mobile jump pack down here and hook up to the battery and see if it will, you know, crank itself over. All right, we got her oiled a little bit. And I also just tightened the belt up with the hopes that I could turn around and around, but so far that ain't going down. So what's my problem here? Still not. Probably still not loose enough. I got it all cleaned up in there. I'll throw it around a few times. I should have put this on that little trailer again because this is really just <laughs> it's not very handy is what I'm saying she's coming into it now Easy enough. Well, I say that, but then it quit. Okay. I'm confident enough that we got that part of it. And we're good there. Now, the next hurdle that I'm not confident enough is what do we got in the way of head gasket? Well, we got a piece of metal. We got like an aluminum type head gasket, which I would say is good because we could probably reuse that. I'm going to clean up on everything and we'll try to stick the head back on and see what happens. So we got this all cleaned up, I think. Good. Enough to go at least, you know. And it's got a metal head gasket, so that can't be all, you know, a bad deal, can it? I wish I could sit on my little bucket, but it's not the right height anymore, the way the world works. I would say tighten them all a little, and then go back and tighten them a lot. All right. All right. Before this train leaves the station any farther, I thought, why not just use the battery we bought the other day in the other cart? And that's what we go with. 
Also, some of this stuff I don't think I'm going to hook back up because I think what he did was he had extra wires for lights. And I think that is asking for sadness. So, because yeah, I mean, what's all that garbage go to? Nothing. That was ground. Let's just delete right now while we're thinking of it. Also, like how you used the most humongous battery. Do you think that that's what it actually takes to crank this beast over? I'm betting that's just what he had on hand. Look at all these wires. Way down there in all these wires. Boy, that don't fit. Well, yeah, I guess it does kind of fit in there. This isn't a very good battery cable, so what's the chances that's going to work? We'll be working on that before this affair is done. All right, we know nothing about how it's wired up or anything. But I think first, we're going to pull the plug. Which appears to be new-ish, although it's been corrode -y. That's a fancy word, corrode from sitting. Super long spark plug wire circling around the frame and touching the hot exhaust, sure. It amazes me how much stuff people look at and say, that's probably good enough, you know? They don't think twice. Boy, this is a really unhandy place to work. I'm like in a hole going downhill. So what we need to do is we need to test and try to figure out what is going to make this come alive, like the ignition, because he's got multiple things. <laughs> so I'm going to start flipping some switches and see if one or the other... That does nothing. That does nothing. Okay. Well, looks like we're going to have more in depth problems because I don't know. We ain't got no ignition to nothing. Let's go first before we flip out. Let's make sure that we're getting we're getting power to here. Okay, so blue is there. Does that mean that that would not be ignition. That would have to be like the thing that tells it to crank. And the way you do that is step on the gas pedal. But I ain't getting nothing. See there, I get that because that's hot. I'm afraid we're going to be doing some more learning because I don't know what to do to make it go I'm afraid we're gonna, we're we're at a stopping place here because I don't know I don't know what what am I missing does that bundle of wires go there we're gonna have to dig deeper I'm afraid so we don't know what does what when you step on the accelerator pedal it lets off of this switch here which I would say starts it to cranking So, but I'm not sure what turns it on. You know, none of this is going. So, and I don't want to just start punching wires here. So we might be doing some research and development. 
like reading, which I hate, but I don't have much choice. Because when I do what I think it's supposed to do, nothing happens. So if that is this bundle of wires here, Oh, there's wires that go up here. Two things have to happen. It's got to be, it's got to send power to here. And I would think it would do that right away, not just when it's cranking. I mean, would it only do that when you have your foot on the accelerator? But no combination of stuff I do lets it there. Okay, now we got it. It's one position. It's trying to. Okay. How did I do that? Okay, it does. It only turns the coil on when it... But I think what we're going to have to do is probably jack it up in the air so that it's not trying to turn, right? Because it wants to turn. Oh, I know what I can do to fix that. Oh, battery connections aren't very good. Why is it not working? Is it because of this? I have a feeling that if a guy would take that drive belt off to get it running the first time, he would probably be trouble ahead. And I just have a feeling that that is part of my issue here. That it's trying to turn the back wheels because something's not adjusted right. And right now, all we want to do is get the motor to run. All right. So, can we get this off of there now? We got it wriggled out of there part way. Just take, let's just delete pieces we don't need. That's nice though that you can do, do that without much trouble. Alright, now, the only thing that's hooked up is the starter to the engine. And it's still not enough. Is that because our battery doesn't have enough juice? Or is that because we're still not? I'm thinking it's because we're still not good enough the way we're supposed to be. Okay. All is not lost, friends. What we're going to do is, we're going to just keep turning it over my hand until we think we got us, you know, actually, let's go back to the big socket, and let's just go round and round and round until we find out why. See, like right there, I think it just needs everything shined up is what it needs. Everything's super dry and super dryness ain't good for nobody. Don't 
tell Daddy, but I'm going to owe him another quart of oil because I borrowed it from him. <laughs> now she's starting to come into it, I think. Just got to get everything lubed. We may actually need to get some spray lube, too. There, we got a couple of kerchiefs out of it. Yeah, we need to get this lubed up a lot more than it is. That's what our problem is. So how can we do that thing? Well, keep doing what I'm doing a little at a time, maybe. I really don't know the answer to that question, but it's going to take that. Cause we've got to get it where it'll turn over on its own. There we got one. Good revolution out of it. Ah. Kind of got it. Just got to keep giving her more oil. She's coming into it. All right. Now the next question is, do we have spark? Well, I don't know. It looked like we did. I don't know if I can put you somewhere where you can see it or not, but I'm going to... It does appear that there is some. Maybe we should just go for broke. Let's put the plug in. And let's see if it will fire on whatever kind of mystery stuff is in the tank. I looked at it, it looks clean, but this is supposed to have oil gas and it says, everywhere I've looked up says that it is, a, an, what is it, an ounce and a half per gallon? So, take that for what it's worth. But let's see what happens. Nothing. Let's choke it. Okay. I really don't think what we need now is go-go juice, because that's going to dry her out and make her really not good i also am not impressed with the spark we do have spark but i don't think it's adequate spark i think we're going to have to go into wherever the points are which i assume are under here and clean them up perhaps we ought to do that right first now before i get too carried away i need to get some flathead screwdriver i guess to do that we only have 13% battery left, so not a whole lot's going to happen, probably. We're going to give it a little shot of the old spray and see what happens. I don't know if I can... I don't know where to put you. Let's just leave you stuck to the muffler. That's a good place, right? It's probably going to be loud, but... Baby. 
heavy. That's all that oil that I put in there. <laughs> oh, that's not the place for you to be, though. But I don't know where it is. There's no good place. <laughs> <laughs> it runs. It just smokes. That's like I said, probably from me. But. It is running on its own. Let's, let's let it shut off and see if it'll restart on its own. It will. That is awesome. I would guess that whatever's in the tank is probably not the right mix either. Let's try the other way. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to put the air cleaner back on, shroud back on, and then we're going to try to drive it. All right, we're kind of negative on seat, but we're going to try it anyway. See what happens. Come on. All right, we got to back out of here. Let's go the other way. Uh oh. Why can we only go forward? A while ago, we could go backwards. It doesn't want to go backwards. I think it needs to be shined up first. Come on. I'm going to get myself into a mess here that I can't get myself out of. Come on. Okay, this is the problem that I had unloading it. There. I think what's the matter is that the belt needs to shine up on that centrifugal clutch to where it's gonna work the right way. And then again, maybe the old timer did something where it only goes forward. I don't know. Get out! Can we get out of here gently? Kinda. Mush! There we're slipping the belt. What a shock, the GoPro battery died just when we were getting ready to have some fun. Let's try again. Giddy up. still operating on the nasty gas in the tank so we don't even know that that's the right stuff I think the belt's slipping quite a bit funny that it'll do it in one direction but not the other oh man <laughs> we definitely mark our territory Yeah, I think we're going to have to read up on belt adjustment. 
But this is better than walking. Uh-oh. I think we're fixing to, to lose here. Come on. Push the choke in. There we go. Maybe that's what it needed. <laughs> I think that was what it needed. Gee. Has the choke out too far. Now she's coming alive on the straightaway. Uh-oh. We're going to die. I think. <laughs> Come on. I think we're conditions are worsening here. Come on. Giddy up, buddy. Thread the needle. Put it back where it was. It was out of the way. Oh, I shouldn't have done it that way though, should I? Will it back up now? Nope. Still won't go in reverse. But that is amazing. I mean, it looks like a turd, but it actually does run and scoots right along. Smoke's terrible, but that is probably because of all the oil that I poured down in there to get it to come around again. Plus the fact of, we don't know what kind of mystery fuel's in that tank. That could be mixed way too heavy on oil. So I will read up and acquire on the correct stuff to mix it and we'll drain that whole tank out. And then we'll figure out if we can, hopefully it will come around and it will be running with less smoke. Cause if you take that to a show, you're probably not gonna make very many friends. Not that I would have very many anyway, but you know, maybe the cloud of smoke will keep people away from me. So maybe that's what I want. But it, uh, yeah, it's coming around. It's shining up that clutch and all. I just don't understand why it's, it doesn't want to go backwards very good. And I don't know if that's, like, let's watch it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's coming into it. Maybe it just needed a little bit of loving. You know, it also may be that that little fuel pump isn't, isn't the greatest. I'd say the old guy, he made him this lever to shift the directions. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's pretty neat though, that it runs in both directions. Come on. Yeah, I think our fuel mixture... ...is not helping us. I think that that's our, our next hurdle, is going to be cleaning the fuel tank and getting that the correct what it's supposed to be. And then I think this will run. And then we're going to work on stripping off this obnoxiously ridiculous paint, because it looks like garbage. We do that, we get us a couple seats, and we get us a fancy umbrella. I've got some Oliver umbrella skins in the house. And we can be cruising the shows. Yeah, in our little buggy here. So, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, that was a lot of fun for a hundred bucks. I mean, I've blown more money on stupider things that only lasted a few minutes. So, why not do something like this, you know? As always, if you enjoy my videos, Give them a thumbs up. That helps out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Leave a comment. Tell me that you liked it or tell me that you hated it. Tell me I'm a moron. I really don't care, but anything that you say helps us out too. So thank you again, as always, for watching, and I will see you in the next one.